This is Castlegar, B.C., last week. The crowd gathered to hear warnings from doctors against COVID-19 vaccines, including Dr. Stephen Malthouse, long accused of spreading COVID misinformation. His medical license was recently suspended while he's being investigated for stating medical conclusions without evidence, among other allegations. His message hasn't changed. We're coming after our kids who are little and we have to defend them. CBC News followed the Doctors on Tour group earlier this year. Audiences heard Malthouse's allegations that the government and the media are misleading people and that COVID-19 vaccines are dangerous. Last month, the BC College of Physicians and Surgeons took the rare step of suspending Malthouse. It said there would be a real risk of harm to the public if Dr. Malthouse was permitted to continue to practice. The video from Castlegar is one of eight similar ones posted Sunday. The meetings appear to have taken place in small B.C. towns this month. The videos are posted on the site Rumble because organizers say YouTube has begun to censor them. I'm disappointed. I find it infuriating. Uh, but I'm not surprised. Those that study misinformation and the law say now that Malthouse is no longer licensed, there are few tools left to stop him. It does become more challenging um, when an individual is just holding meetings and, and spreading misinformation because you know a doctor is held to a higher standard. Malthouse didn't respond to our request for comment. He has previously taken the BC College of Physicians and Surgeons to court, arguing it does not have the authority to regulate his free speech. He seems to take pride in what happened. You know, I have two things that I really want to happen before I die. One is to get the largest stack of complaints at the College of Physicians and Surgeons in British Columbia. And his audience responds. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Vancouver. I think I want